Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the brand new Apple TV. In this episode specifically, we're going to take a look at how to set up the networking on it, which you'll need to do before you can actually use it for anything. To configure your wireless networking, head over to the Settings option on your menu, hit General, and then scroll down until you get to Network. Now, if you have a Wi-Fi connection that you want to use, that's your wireless, then you will go into this Configure Wi-Fi section. If you want to use Ethernet, you would just simply connect the Ethernet uh, cable to the back of the Apple TV, and it should automatically configure everything for you. We're going to do this manually because we have a password-protected Wi-Fi thing. So we'll connect, Configure Wi-Fi. It'll search for all of the networks that are out there. There's all of these in our neighborhood. We don't want most of these. We want, in fact, butterscotch. So we just scroll down until you get to it and then hit the center button to select it. Now you'll enter your Wi-Fi password. And you see you have all of the alphabetical, both uppercase and lowercase. It's very important when you're selecting your Wi-Fi password that you do get the proper case on all of your letters and then you have all the symbols down below. So to navigate this, we will just go down until we get to the one we want. So B. And this can be a little bit tricky, so it may be helpful while you're doing this to set it up using the remote app on your iPhone or iPad. Again, check out the other episode in the series on how to do that because it will allow you to type directly into the screen. So we're going to choose our password butter for this and hit done. It'll say connecting. That's when it's going out and making sure that everything is correct with your network. It'll say configuration succeeded. If you got it right, if you got it wrong, it'll tell you you got the wrong password and it will fail. So we're going to hit done. Now it'll give us all the information about our network in the lower right hand corner there. And we can hit menu to back out of this once we're done. If we need to make any other configuration settings here manually, we can go into configure TCP IP and use DHCP or manual settings here. We're not going to do that here because in most cases it should be pretty automatic. Hit menu one more time, go back out to the settings menu, and go back out to the main menu. And now we should be ready to start getting in content. Now if we're setting this up for the very first time, we're almost ready to start getting our content. The next thing we'll need to do is set up the iTunes account that we use to download our content and connect with Apple, and we'll do that in the next episode. Don't forget to check out the show notes for this particular episode at butterscotch.com, as well as show notes for all the other episodes in this series.